Hi everyone, good afternoon from London, England, or is it good morning to you, or good evening to you from Mon Mon uh, good evening to you from London, England? You know who it is. If you don't know now, you know who it is now. Your guy himself, the host, DLG Ripping. You know how it goes. How are you all today? Hope you're enjoying your day. Um, I've got some context to get through, um, up to date context. And um, a story broke about Alexis Sanchez um, speaking about his time at Manchester United. And it says here, as the headline covered, um, I knew my my, uh, I knew my United move was a big mistake from day one. So, and it goes on to say, Sanchez wanted to rip up his contract and move back to Arsenal after one training session. Wow. Oh, gosh. Oh. Alexis Sanchez. To say that out in public, in the open like that, Man United fans will love you. Yeah. Love to get a hold of your neck and strangle it in turns. That is utter disrespect. Yes, and this is covered by um, Darren Lewis. Alexis Sanchez has revealed he asked his agent whether he could quit Manchester United and return to Arsenal after his first training session. Well, first and foremost, that would never have happened. And secondly, the manner that he left Arsenal was very rude and hurtful. And that won't be forgiven. Excuse me. That's no, all right. Yeah. That won't be forgiven. <clears throat> the Chilean forward now at Inter Milan made a astonishing confession as he opened up to his opened up on his failure to transfer his outstanding form in North London to Old Trafford. Sanchez Sanchez said, first the first training I had, I realized many things. I came home and I asked my representative, can't the contract be terminated to return to Arsenal? Excited United fans believe the South American would prove a transformative signing after his three scoring inspirational performances at Arsenal. Instead, he managed just five goals under Jose Mourinho in 45 appearances before, joining, before being loaned to Inter Milan last season and joining them on a free this summer. I want to tell you that. I want to tell you about my period at United, about many things that were said and that made me look bad. Sanchez, I got the opportunity to go to United and it seemed tempting to me. It was something nice for me because when I was a kid, I liked the club a lot. Okay. So you like the club a lot, yeah? And then you come up with an astonishing confession. Hmm, interesting. Right, let's see where I am. I'm going to read read on a little bit. The first days I was with a... Co <sighs> the first days I was with my colleagues. Sometimes they are... There are things that you do not realise until you arrive. After the first training, I realised many things. So I asked my representative if the contract could be terminated. They started laughing and I told them that something did not sit right with me. But the contract had been signed. Sanchez, who had six, just six months left to run on his Arsenal deal, after refusing to sign a new contract, arrived at United in January 2018. As the as the club's top earner, yes, he was a staggering um, five hundred and five thousand pounds a week in wages. I mean, that's astonishing. I mean, the guy was phenomenal at Arsenal. I won't lie; his record was one hundred and forty odd games, eighty goals for the Arsenal. 
<clears throat> whereas United, five goals in 45 appearances. And um, what a shame he became such a flop. And what a massive shame. Uh, well, what a bigger shame that um, he actually left Arsenal in a very hurtful and painful way. And um, I can't um, forgive him. So whatever's happened to Sanchez now, it's his, it's on his own um, accord. You know, he's made his bed, so let him lay in it. Yeah, that Mr. Sanchez? You've made your bed, so lay in it, yeah? You're not forgiven by me, personally. And I don't think you're going to be forgiven by many of Arsenal fans as well who have um, read this um, story. Right, moving on to... Um, a bit of transfer news, and that is um, Everton here. And um, they have completed the signing of um, Brazilian midfielder Alan. And it says in the um, title, Everton signed Brazilian Alan for 21 million. Everton have signed Brazilian Alan, uh, Brazilian midfield Alan from Napoli on a three year contract for a fee believed to be around 21.7 million pounds. Alan is Everton's first signing of the summer and the move reunites him with former Napoli boss Carlo Ancelotti. It is a real pleasure to sign for Everton. I am immensely happy to be here, said the 29-year-old. Everton are also closing on deals for Watford, Abdullah de Corey and James Rodriguez from Real Madrid. Wow, it's a good week for Everton. I mean, they're signing midfielders. James Rodriguez... Alan and the Corey, what a midfield trio that could be, you know? Wow. All of a sudden they've got um a formidable good um good looking midfield. I mean Everton fans, um how excited are you about um the signing of um Alan and um the Corey and Rodriguez to come? I'm sure you'll be pleased. And Man United fans, um do you forgive Sanchez or what have you got to say for, um, about Alexis Sanchez? About his astonishing um, confession? All you have to do is just drop it in my comment section below. And um, let's have a chat. Otherwise, um, smash the thumbs up like button off or comment. But the main thing is, yeah, please subscribe to my channel and help it grow. And I'll help you by bringing the up-to-date context, you know. You know what they say, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Otherwise, I'm going to wrap this up and say, ladies, to the gentlemen, to the boys, to the girls, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. If you were watching, if you uh, putting up, if you have to part with me again, then thank you for doing so. I really appreciate it and the support. Peace again, love, and bless again. But remember, leave your views in my comment section below and sm smash the thumbs up like button and let the thumbs down, hopefully, and do smash that subscribe button for me left right and center galore just push that subscribe button hard for me yeah and um i'll do everything i can to help you by bringing the latest context and um talk you through it and read what i can and um i wish you all a, a very nice day be good but be happy see ya